Why have we been celebrating St. Valentine's all these years? You will soon know why. It is the start of a season where mass or many loving cleanses will be across all the acres of all the lands. Ever get a sudden pain, accident or not, that lasts for a moment, an hour, a day? Then it goes away? This is a sign of cleanses in your near future. Know that the moon is always a trigger or a sign of a future physical or spiritual cleanse. On Thursday, January 28th, there will be a wolf full moon. This moon brings many messages that you will need to understand. What you're about to see is how this January 28th wolf moon is setting up a cleanse for Valentine's season. If you are good, your cleanse will be minimal to none. The wolf moon brings signs before the main event, the Valentine season. There will be two parts to this video. Part 1 will be about the moon's trigger or signs. Part 2 will be about the cleansing Valentine season. The full moon on the 28th is extremely important as this brings forth many triggering spiritual messages. The moon also aligns with Hygieia, the goddess of cleanses in midpoint cancer, your energy field. Hygieia, whom cleanses your chakras, energy centers, is telling you to prepare and be aware. Pay attention, this will also be in part two. The moon and Hygieia are also lining across the sun, Lilith and Jupiter in midpoint of Capricorn, emerging from the waters. Lilith is the goddess, or temptress, who brings great spiritual strength to those whom resist materialistic temptations. Jupiter, the god of expansion or spiritual law, brings greatness to those whom support spiritual law. Next, we have Pluto aligned with Venus in beginnings of Capricorn. Venus, the goddess of love, is ensuring all Mother Nature's beings are loved and safe. Pluto, god of subconscious regeneration, making metaphysical or spiritual changes, whether you like it or not. Next, we have Mama's Black Moon aligned with Mars in Aries, our head. Mars, whom brings fiery change to your physical body, aligns with Mama's Black Moon, who will help you gain knowledge on when to say no. The last mention of these invigorating alignments that happens during the wolf full moon, Ceres is aligned opposite Vesta in Aquarius, the etheric baptismal waters, and Leo, your heart or hearth. Vesta, goddess of Vestal Virgin, are protectors of the eternal fire or hearth. Also remember Vesta for part two. She aligns with Ceres, the goddess of harvesting souls. In medical astrology, you can see she plays a major factor in ensuring you are good. This ends part one of, on the wolf, full moon signs. Can you put two and two together? Cleansing coming. Gotta be good. No choice. Welcome the definition of virus. It's a process, not a thing. Now for part two, the cleanse. On February 15th, 2021, a special event starts that will escalate the cleansing before the new sun, which we will talk about in a later slide. You know the sun is getting brighter, right? June comes out of Annapurana, crossing over the plane of the moon's south and north nodes. Note that the south node is in Scorpio procreation, opposite the north node in Taurus, Earth and Mother, Juno's home. Get it? Procreation, Earth and Mother. Reincarnation. Now notice that the luminaries are on one side of the chart, out of Annapurna once again, leaving only the two luminaries we told you to remember in part one. Hygieia and Vesta. Quick note for the technical peeps. This is at 23 degrees. Interesting, eh? We have Hygieia, goddess of cleanses and cancer, your energy field. And Vesta, the protector of the hearth, in Leo, your heart or hearth. Again, this is no coincidence that they are the only two on one side of the chart. Know that this splits you right down the middle of your being, representing your spine, the pole of the Kundalini, or Caduceus. Before we wrap up, we will prove what we say. Note that Cancer and Leo split the lunar and solar houses. To the right, we have feminine lunar houses, and to the left, we have masculine solar houses. We'll talk more about this in Astrology 303, but for now, know that this was known by the Egyptians. For more proof, you can see how important this event is by studying the Dendra Zodiac from the Hathor Temple in Egypt, 
which is just over 2,000 years old. Notice how Leo and Cancer split the line, with Cancer being closer to the middle, left for another video. Here is a blown up view. What do you think the Egyptians were trying to tell us with the only two breakaway markers that line up with what is presented here? We are studying the meaning of these glyphs, but know that they teach about a, me a ceremonial metaphysical measure of the heart or hearth as light as a feather. One quick observation of many, look at the spiritual waters being given to you under the sign of Aquarius to take you out of repeated re-embodiments or reincarnations. You still think a virus is a thing? 100% it is not. It's a timed, predictable cleanse. We are now in Aquarius, the cleansing, baptismal waters. Here's an excerpt of a future presentation explaining what happens for Easter 2022. In Revelation 12, I quote, And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun. The mother of all mothers aligns with the sun at zero point Aries, or Arise. A new sun is born in the east, a physical sun and a metaphysical sun called you. Seen on the Dendera Zodiac as reincarnation, re-embodiment, a new you. You know this female energy. This story is in every culture. Are you preparing yourself? Welcome to your personal Armageddon of material versus spiritual. No one is exempt. You need to take down your materialistic pillar. Remember the scene from Samson and Delilah? You will be given strength. We are now at the cusp of Aquarius. If your heart is not as light as a feather, then expect a cleanse. Whether you know astrology or not, I'm going to be spiritually honest with you. You need to release materialistic desires such as wasted sexual fluid that are not divine, doing not good things to beings including animals and insects, including eating them, drinking spirits, which are an actual spirit remover unless used in small quantities for medicinal purposes. Wanting materialistic things that are not a necessity. You can do this. Besides, you have no choice. Special thanks to these beautiful people for all their passionate work. Peace and love. Words from within the song Stairway to Heaven. There's still time to change the road you're on. <laughs>